Hey there guys, John Campy here. Thanks for visiting my movie vlog. And you know, in the world of comic book movies, Gambit has been an ongoing drama for the last couple of years. Channing Tatum signs on to do it. Then they say they've got a director. Channing Tatum comes to Comic-Con, comes on stage with all the other Fox Marvel movie stars, talk about this great shared universe going on. And then eventually we start hearing about drama between Channing Tatum and Fox. Then we start hearing about drama about Fox doesn't like how big the budget is. Then they lose the director. Then they lose their release date. And then we don't hear anything forever. Now that all changed a little while ago when we heard that Fox got into negotiations with Gore Verbinski. Of course, he's the director of a lot of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, but he's also directed a couple of other wonderful films. Weatherman with Nicolas Cage. I think that's a great movie. Rango was great. Yeah, he also did Lone Ranger, but let's kind of brush that one under the carpet for now. So we started hearing there's life coming back into this Gambit project. Well, now it's official. Fox has officially announced that they have a release date for the new Gambit film starring Channing Tatum and most likely being directed by Gore Verbinski. And that release date is February 14th, 2019. Now that Valentine's Day release date tells me a couple of things. Number one, they've got to already be in pre-production. They've got to start shooting this movie probably within the next four or five months. That also tells me that the Gore Verbinski deal is probably officially signed. I haven't heard officially yet that it's a done deal, but if they've already got a release date and they've already got to be moving on pre-production, that means they've probably got Gore Verbinski on by now. At least that's what I'm assuming at this point. We'll have to wait and find out what the official word is. Now, this all raises a couple of questions. Number one, we had heard before, like going back a year or two years ago, that there were some other actresses who were signed on to the film. Are they still attached? We don't know yet. We're going to have to wait and see. Maybe they ch decided to change their cast up a little bit. The second big question is this. Where in this whole Fox X-Men universe will Gambit fit? Will it be its own standalone thing? Will it fit in or will they have it in a shared universe with Deadpool? Will they have it more connected with the new X-Men films? Are they going to try to make all of it one really good cohesive shared universe going against what has traditionally been their continuity schmontinuity attitude? We're just gonna have to wait and see. Now, I know a lot of people poo-pooed the idea when it was first announced a couple years ago that Channing Tatum was gonna be playing Gambit. But I gotta tell you, I actually really like the idea. I used to think Channing Tatum, and I said this explicitly, was flat out, bar none, the worst actor in Hollywood getting work. But guess what? He kept at it, he kept working, he kept striving, he kept trying to get better, and eventually he started getting better and better and better. And today now, I'm the guy who used to say he's the worst actor in Hollywood, and now today when he's in a movie, I actually look forward to seeing him in the movie. I think he's made huge strides as a performer, and you know what? I think a Gambit movie is right up his alley. I think he could be a fantastic Gambit. Maybe it'll be a disaster, but I think the potential is there to be very good. And I think Gore Verbinski is a very interesting choice to direct him in that role. I think there's a really high ceiling for good potential in this movie. But of course, the big question here is, what do you think about this news? Do you think they're going to start production pretty soon? Are you happy they're moving forward? Do you still wish somebody else was playing Gambit? Let me know whatever thoughts you have on this topic in the comments section below. And listen, guys, while you're here, why don't you click the thumbs up button and also click on that subscribe button, become a subscriber to my YouTube channel and make sure you're following me on Facebook and on social media, simply at John Campia. That'll do it for me for now, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. And until the next video, bye-bye.